This is the message for Wednesday, January 22nd, 2014. Greetings, dear ones. We are constructing a blessed framework of light. Strand by strand, this is the assembling of a great structure. We begin with the proper tools, the blessed chamber of eternal light. This blessed device is a pure reflection of the great universal energy of a blessed great star of light. It is the star of the light of Genesis. This is the name we give to identify this mighty star, just as names are given to identify the great stars one by one. This name is given to this great star whose light has arrived in the form of the blessed chambers of eternal light. Through the structuring of the blessed global framework of connecting light beams, beams of radiant starlight, we are establishing the required conditions for the arrival of the full form of this great star. When one thinks of an arrival of a great object such as this mighty star, one may imagine the large ball of burning energy speeding through the galaxies on its way to the destination our blessed Earth. This is not the case. This is not the means of arrival. It is not the means of travel. When we say we are assembling a platform, a blessed framework, we may as easily say that we are assembling a mighty magnet for it is much more on the scale of an energy, an energy which is solidly being formed through the one-by-one -one additions of these radiant devices of light. One by one, the blessed chambers of eternal light are adding to the crisscrossing beams which span across the lands and waters. One by one, the deep residues are removed and the light shines with greater clarity. A glow is beginning to form. A glow. We will discuss the nature of this glow further at a future time. The glow produces the influence of attraction, attraction of the great force of universal energy we know by the name Great Star of Genesis. It is not a matter of traveling through the universe in that sense. This is not the method of arrival. The arrival of this mighty great star comes out of the field of energy. It emerges out of the structure of energy already present. If this energy would not be present, there would be no chance to draw it forth. The earth has experienced a great transformation. This is the shifting of the structure of energy from the old to the new. Transformation is from old to new, from the previous to the coming. 
This shift has prepared the earth, equipped the earth with the materials necessary for the coming era. That which remains to be accomplished is the drawing forth of the new form, the form which will take over the role of the basic structure of life and existence on earth. The old is replaced by the new. That which is required is the assembling of the platform, the radiant structure into which this mighty form may enter. We possess the knowledge and the tools. Now it is left for us to act. Our role is the action required for the assembly of this great global network of the light of Genesis. This is the platform into which the blessed mighty star may enter as the form for the era of eternal light. Yes, yes, we are now embarking upon the tour to ignite the points of light and dispel the residues. With bursting radiance, the cities of light will support the offering of the blessed pearl of knowledge, the pearl of star light for each individual. Dear ambassadors, take this great opportunity to receive the blessings which are surfacing at this point in the blessed structure of time. This is a tour of light, a tour of the pearl of star light. It is very good, very good, very good. Many blessings.